Today we're going to be talking about rates of change and slope. And the rate of change is the change in y over the change in x. And this symbol right here, this here, that stands for delta y, which means change in y, and then this here means delta x or change in x. And the rate of change is the same thing as slope. So the slope of the line is the ratio of the change or the difference in the y coordinates to this corresponding change in the x coordinates. So if you have two points, you subtract the y's and then in the same order you subtract the x's. Okay, our first example, and yes I want you to write this whole thing out. In 2004, 56,000 878 students applied to UCLA. In 2006, 60,291 students applied. Find the rate of change in the number of students applying for admission from 2004 to 2006 and explain the meaning of the slope or of the rate of change. So we're finding the rate of change in the number of students applying for admission from 2004 to 2006. So really what we have there is we have two points. We have time, typically is going to be our independent variable, and we have our other coordinate, 60,291. Now subtract the y values. over the subtracting of the x values because that's change in y over change in x and that is 3, 4, 1, 3 over 2 and I would let you guys use your calculator on this and simplify so then I divided that again in my calculator and this is students per year. Now something that I'm going to want you guys to do is I want you guys to explain the meaning of the slope. So every year because really that's over one every year the value of our slope or the value of our rate of change 1706.5 more students applied to UCLA. Okay, the more tells me it's positive. By it, I mean the slope. The more tells me the slope is positive. Okay, it tells me that our function is increasing. Okay, the next one is now looking at a graph. And again, notice on our graph, we have the X labeled, the Y labeled in terms of what their meaning is, and I have a title on my graph. Refer to the graph below, which shows data on the fastest growing restaurant chain in the US during the time period of the graph. Find the rate of change, or the slope, of the number of stores from 2001 to 2006. Explain the meaning of our rate of change. So we're looking for 2001 and a value and 2006 and a value. Now 2001, it's not at 5, it looks like it's at about 6. Over at 2006, it looks like it's at about 34. So I take and I subtract 34 minus 6 over 2006 minus 2001. And I want to highlight, I started with the bottom coordinate. So I went bottom minus top. 
And then I went that same order when I subtracted the x's. 2006 minus 2001. So now when I simplify that, I get 28 over 5. Or because this is in reference to a word problem, let's write that as a decimal. 5.6. stores per year. Okay, so explain the meaning. Every year the number of stores Increase, telling me the slope is positive by 5.6. Just don't put 5.6, that tells me that my number of stores here is in thousands. So let's say 5.6 thousand. Okay, so make sure you have that complete units on your answer. Okay, next one. Find the slope of the line that passes through those two points. This is really what we've been doing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little different. What I like to do is I like to sit and analyze. I look at the y coordinates and I personally prefer adding. So if one of them is negative, I usually put that one last because we have change in y, so it's 4 minus a negative 2. I started with the 4, so I have to start with the negative 1. Negative 1 minus 1. So I have a 6 on top, a negative 2 on the bottom, negative 3. So that's just finding my slope. Now finding the slope of the line shown on the right. So come up with a couple coordinates. This point right here is negative 1, 0. The other point is 1, 1. So I'm going to go 1 minus 0 over 1 minus a negative 1. And that equals a 1 over a 2. Now make sure that makes sense. I go up 1 over 2 to get to my next coordinate. Our line is sloping up positive, so therefore this answer makes sense. Okay, there are your four lesson questions for the day, and please make sure your lesson questions and your summary is submitted on time.